Zena Warthog Princess and welcome to another What's in My Bag video. Today is National Epilepsy Awareness Day, so it is a wear purple kind of day. Therefore, I picked the Vera Bradley Glenna and Elderberry, which is a very purple bag. So we'll talk about this bag in a moment. Um, look how Kelly. Yeah. Um, the, the reason I say just a moment, we'll just, for a pause, we'll talk about epilepsy awareness. Obviously, a lot of people have epilepsy. I don't actually have all the numbers right in front of me, but I will put all the information down below. The reason I'm showing my nails is Color Street actually puts out an epilepsy awareness print, which is very nicely purple. It's a kind of marbly purple with purple ribbons. So purple, obviously, is the color for epilepsy. In case you're wondering, no, I do not have it, but I have a lot of very dear friends who I know do or, or have family members that do, so it is something that's near and dear to my heart. Plus, purple happens to be my very favorite color, so it's an easy one for me. So just to help bring awareness to that. Um, all right, but we're moving out of the Chala Bowler, so let's take off some things. We've got the dog theme going on on this bag and there's nothing in this coin pouch bag charm then on this one i added an extra bag charm that i had made so we'll take that off the only feedback i have on this is the little glass bone shaped bead broke That's, but but otherwise it stood up very well uh, let's see we've got a manicure kit some nail samples we've got my phone which is already purple with the beer bradley case and we've got wipes and sanitizer. We have two big cosmetics. We have a coin purse and sunglasses. And a wallet. Nothing in the zipper pocket. That pen can come out. We've got keys. And the last zipper pocket we have a notebook and some business card. Okay, so that clears out the bowler. So let's do, okay, wallet can go aside. Uh, let's see what is in all of these. We'll dump all these out because they're coming out. So this one was my doggy cosmetic from Vera and this was all my tech stuff. So keep that together over here. And then I had a medium cosmetic in Best in Show. And this one has hand sanitizer, lotion, a comb, a Best in Show mask, some hand sanitizer spray, and a couple of rubber bands, more hand sanitizer. And then in the main pouch, there's a lot of other random things. I've got this reusable pouch. It has two servings of almonds in it. It's a great way to keep them with you um, for snack time. Got dental floss, toothpick things, gum, mints, glucose tabs, lip balm, masks and filters, a chapstick, and a meal replacement bar. Yeah, and that's it. So let's look at our options for today, which I have selected strictly purple, all elderberry. Um, I, I'm decked out in purple in case you're wondering. I have these crazy purple pants and yeah, <laughs> that's fun. Okay, so this will mostly go into this bag. I might pull some things out, but let's see. We have a medium cosmetic. This is a factory style. You can tell because of the single diamond stitching and because of the style of it. It's the simple version with a loop on the end. I do like that version a lot. And then I have this little um, mini one. This is a lot like the... Stephanie Dawn Small Essentials case. It's actually just slightly bigger, um, but, but same shape and rough dimension, so that's kind of cool. But I, I got this from the annual outlet sale in 2018. It had like some other little sample things in there. But anyway, I got two of them, and it has the Moon Bloom interior. The factory style has just a purple nylon. So I, I, it was my other one. I figured they'd be great for purses. I've got a card case, it's a brown card case. This is a factory style as well. I have a retail side medium cosmetic and you can tell the difference because it has that macro diamonds that are double diamond stitching. And so do these ones, so that's retail side. 
I have a factory style pill case. I'm not sure if I'm going to use this or not, but I thought if I took the pill parts out of it, I could use the inside for like a tech case or something. We'll see. I don't know. I also have an all-in-one crossbody wristlet. This is from the retail side as well with the Moon Blooms. One of my favorite kind of wallets, but it's kind of big and bulky. I also have a factory style. Um, this is an all-in-one type thing, so it's a crossbody wristlet. It has a trifold structure with this wristlet strap that tucks in, and then it has also a crossbody strap that's removable, and I have that stored here in the back pocket for now. But yeah, so that's where it hooks on on top. I'm not sure which wallet I'm gonna use. Coin purses, I do have a purple one. This is a Tokidoki one. Um, I, I, I don't know if it's Tokidoki actually. It's like Tokidoki, let's see. Neon Star by Tokidoki, so there you go. Because I got some of these at the Japanese dollar store. I got uh, one or two of them from there and then I got this one from Tokidoki, so I just forgot which one was which. All right, keychain wise, I have a French Paisley because I didn't have anything in Elderberry, but obviously that matches. And that's it for keychains. Bag charms, I've got several. I've got the cut or er, Vines Floral, and that could go with it perhaps. We'll just put those aside for now. I also have the Lavender Meadow, which has that like hot pink ladybug on there, but that could go with it. And I also grabbed the, I don't remember what this one's called, but it's leather and it has that like shimmer to it with butterflies on it. And while I was thinking about butterflies, I also grabbed another non-Vera bag charm. It's actually like a no-name brand. This is actually, um, was supposed to be a ceiling fan pull and I reconfigured it and put a clip on it so that it could be a bag charm but it's a butterfly and down below it has a star, a heart, and butterfly. I was thinking I will bling this up a little bit. Maybe I'll put some purple beads on it and use that as my bag charm. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, but the Glenna, if you're not familiar, it is a handbag, um, shoulder bag. It has really nice strap drop, so it fits very comfortably. It does not have a crossbody strap, um, which is unfortunate. I think it would be great to have that. You can on some of the newer versions of the Glenna because the way the zipper is, you might be able to put a loop there. These ones, you can't because the recessed zipper is, is all the way up against it. There's no flap or anything, nowhere to put a loop. Um, but you could, if you have a removable strap, I suppose you could put it on the cross, you know, these fixtures and clip it on. You could then carry that as a crossbody that way. I've not done that, but. You have three slips on the back side with the pretty moon blooms inside and the opposite side you have a zipper pocket and the bottom is a nice oval shape to it so this bag actually holds quite a little bit there's no outside pockets on the sides but right in the front and the back it has this nice big generous slip pocket on both sides so for sure I know that my phone will go in there so we can put that in my 6S Plus with my Galaxy, I don't, maybe Alex, I don't remember the name of it. Someone did tell me it's like Galaxy Amethyst or I don't know. It's not important. It's the only thing I've ever seen in that pattern and I bought it at the sale. Um, okay, coin purse. Yeah, we'll do a one for one swap with that. Okay, the tag's off, but this part. I'll use my purple scissors. <laughs> Because purple. No, no sacrifice today trying to bring awareness to my favorite color and the cause it supports. Where's that white coin? Here it is. So we'll take all these coins and we'll just dump them into the other one. I really need to just clean it out, honestly, but okay, so that can come out. And isn't it just so cute though? This one's just a little bit smaller, but it's it's not even very half full. But really cute little silicone things. I'm just gonna dump that in the bottom. Keys, I will do the same. Let's see. I have my car key and medical alert and house keys. So I'll clip that on the ring. 
I have my shopping tag bag charm or loyalty tag bag charm, I think is what the official name. And that is in denim navy. And then I have my mail keys, which one for home and one for my PO box. There we go. So keys. And the keys are going in the middle. Okay, so business cards. I'm gonna use my lilac medallion one. I know it's not solid purple, but I don't have a solid purple. It has two sides, so I have two different cards. One has my home info and one has just my social media stuff. So I'll put that in there. And I'll put that in a slip pocket on the side. I'm gonna take out the Holland Garden manicure kit. No particular reason, but I don't have a purple one. I thought I did actually. I thought I had a Regal Rosette one, but I don't. So I'm just gonna put in the Fruit Grove because I think even though it's not purple, it's fun. And I'm gonna put that in a slip pocket as well. Uh, ooh, I did not grab another zip ID and that is my mistake. I do have elderberry. So I will, for the moment, I'll leave it in this one. This is the Color Street samples. I will leave it in here, but I'll change that out. Sorry, you won't see that. <laughs> No big loss there, you know what a zip ID looks like. But just imagine that it's purple. Uh, okay, so this business card one can come out. I do have two different um, toothpick dental flossings, but they're both purple, so I'll just keep the skinnier one in the bag. I do have also a lip gloss. This is a Disney Frozen. Um, it's actually like a raspberry. No mirror, but it's just a little compact with lip gloss, so I'm gonna put that in. Okay, I turns out I don't need a bunch of extra masks, but I do need, I didn't grab anything super purpley, but I do have my Lug Bloom Black, which has a lot of purple in it actually. So we'll definitely keep that in there. Okay, so we don't need that. I think, Wallet-wise, I'm going to go with the all-in-one because that's my familiar one, I guess. I really should try the other one, but I kind of don't feel like it. <laughs> All right, tech stuff. Let's see if the tech stuff will fit in one of these. Oh, this one has not been used. Okay, two batteries. I did actually use one of these today because I was trying to, so I don't need two in there. I was trying to film shot put and discus throws for Air Force Winter Warrior Sports. Yeah, I suck, by the way. All right, so a cord, a charger, a screen wiper, and a plug. And we can take the pocket toddy out. Yeah, I think that's okay. Tech mostly fits in there. That's pretty good. That can just go in there. And then I've got my headphones, which need to, don't need to be in the bag. I'll leave them at home. This can come out. That's masks. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use the factory style one because it's a slimmer trimmer profile. And I don't really need the wipeability of the plastic coating, so this, um, Nylon is fine. And we'll use this for all this other stuff, the miscellaneous. So we've got a s'mores bar from Atkins. We've got black cherry Merlot hand lotion. Um, glucose tabs. This is an EOS lip balm. We've got a chapstick. We've got mints, toothpicks, lip gloss and gum and almonds and there is still room in here which is awesome so i'll go ahead and put two rubber bands and a little comb and i'm gonna leave the hand sanitizer stuff out sunglasses oh, i actually have purple ones this is romantic paisley in the holland garden so that'll be the other thing uh you know what 
the purple ones are in my car, so I'm just going to leave that out. Masks. So, hand sanitizer wipes and spray will go in the back pocket, as will the masks and the filter, because they all will fit in there, no problem. I don't need all that. I'm going to take the notebook out. I am going to put a pen and a highlighter. just have a purple pen and highlighter. It's generic. They'll just go right in the front pocket. And I don't need the alcohol wipes because I have other stuff. Okay, so that's not too bad, actually. Got a bunch of stuff, the bulky things out of the bag. So what we have... <laughs> this little coin purse is so cute. We have fits in here very, very nicely. So we have, use your imagination, we have a purple <laughs> zip ID, not really. And then with that in the same pocket, I have the manicure kit because it's nails and nails. In this middle pocket, the slip, I just have the pen and the highlighter. In the other one, I have my business cards in the lilac medallion card case. I don't have anything in the zipper pocket. But I have my medium cosmetic, my all-in-one, and my little um, small essentials, basically. And then in the middle, right in the middle here, I have the coin purse. And beneath that is the bulk thing of keys. So actually, it works very nicely. And it's not super bulked out, so there's just three things in the middle there. In the front pocket, I have my cell phone. And in the back pocket... I hand sanitizer, wipes, and masks, and filters. So, now what we have to do is pick a bag charm if we're going to use one. Oopsie. Okay, so let's look at these. The cut vines, or vines floral. I was going to say cut vines. It's not cut vines. Vines floral. Ooh, that one's fun too. Lilac or um, lavender meadow. I don't know what I called it before. And then we have this one that's in lilac. I think this is a no because it's gold fittings and everything on here is silver, so that doesn't really match. Um, but yeah, I don't really want that either. Okay, so it's between these two. And I'm thinking this one's darker. This one's brighter. It's spring, so I'm going to go with the brighter. Okay. And I'm just going to hook it right on to... There's a metal loop there, but I think it'll stay straight better if I put it on the... Like, hook it through that fabric loop. It looks like it belongs there. So I'm going to go with that. Yay! Okay. And that is what's in my bag, the Glenna in Elderberry from Fair Bradley. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.